In this video, I want to cover the basics of using the external UI interface. So I don't know why I didn't think of using this before, but it's quite a nice reference. So you have like the identity interface, friends interface, which we used in the previous video to kind of give you a rough or a better overview with the descriptions on what all you can do and how all roughly how everything kind of works. So like basically kind of a rundown of things you can do that you may not be able to as easily find well, literally right here, the read friends list, uh, blah, 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 explains the same stuff that we covered, but just in a more friendly manner. So in this case, we're going to cover the external UI interface. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and begin. So I want to make this one very generic. So for the time being, we're just going to do void show UI. I guess, screw it, we're just going to call it show UI for the time being. And then later on, we'll maybe kind of clean it up a bit and add new things. And I want to go ahead and actually minimize all of these for the sake of keeping things short and clean of what we are actually working on. Okay, so to begin, inside of show UI, we're basically going to do the same thing here. So we get the online subsystem. And again, I want to confirm that I am logged in. So if logged in and the online subsystem is valid, what we can do is if online subsystem we search for UI, here we have the get external UI interface. Oh, and this returns the type I online external UI pointer. So I online external UI pointer. And let's call it, uh, we'll just do UI pointer. Simple enough. Okay, so from here, we're going to do UI pointer. And we can search through some of the functions. So in this case, let's, for starters, do the friends UI. And then it takes in, again, the local user number, which is going to be zero. Now, if you're not able to see any of this, as you may have seen, it included it for us. Well, in my case, with Rider, so it included interfaces, online external UI interface. Okay. Now that that is situated, let's go ahead and compile and launch the editor so we can bind up a button for this. Alrighty, inside the editor, let's open up our widget here. And just like always, we're going to copy and paste a new option. Let's call this one show UI. And show UI. Oops, the, oh, they're over here. Show UI. There we go. So then we're going to bind the button, get the game instance, all that fun mumbo jumbo, and call show UI. Now I'm naming this something generic like this, just for the sake of being able to easily change between it and show you different options. The only other thing I want to do is actually in the construct, what I want to do is clean up or basically lock my mouse so that way, or make my mouse visible. So I'm going to get my player controller. We're going to do search for mouse scroll through here we have set show a mouse cursor we're going to set that to true so we can easily uh click on stuff and then again i want to set the input mode to game and ui that's just so i can have my mouse and all that kind of stuff visible and not really have to deal with anything so i'm going to compile and save not exactly sure what that means i'll just un check it. I don't know if that's going to screw with you guys of seeing a mouse cursor or not. But anyways, once we have our widget set up, we can close that on down and give ourselves a test. Alrighty, just about loaded up. We're logged in. And there we go. So I can still right mouse and move around and that kind of stuff. So what I want to hit is show UI. So when I click this, as you can see, it immediately brought up my friends list. Hit it again and it works. So we know that we're good to go there. So now we can basically have free reign to do kind of whatever we wish. So let's look through some of these. So one of the common ones that you'll have like in Dead by Daylight is show invite UI. So that's going to be zero. And then we have to pass in the name of the session. So test session name. Now my question is, I don't know if this is fully going to work if we do not have a session set up. So that is one thing we'll see. So if in case it's not obvious, I'm pretty much experimenting as I go. Like I have not, some of these I've used, I haven't used this one. So we're going to see just what happens. 
So let's press show UI. All right, and nothing is happening. So let's try creating a session. So we got a session up, let's hit show UI, and there we go. So we had to create a session first, but now it brings up a list and we can go through and hit invite to invite some of our friends to the game. Now, because I have a session created, I'm going to go ahead and hit destroy session. Look at that, we both just learned something. Alrighty, let's just uh, check out some of the rest so we can show achievements. I've already seen these two. Uh, not entirely sure what the leaderboard UI is. We can still just show the store. So that takes in... Okay, so that would be, I guess, if you had some form of DLC or something like that. And we have a, actually a quite a good bit of stuff. Let's show web URL. I guess that takes us to a web page. Yes, it does. That's kind of cool. So basically, there's a lot of stuff that you can do through here. So the only thing I want to do now is I want to actually clean this up and set it up as a show invite UI. And again, I'm just going to pass in zero and the name of our test session name and rename this to show invite uh, what do you call it? Go invite UI. Let's copy that and rename it. I'm going to have one more of show friends UI. Which is going to be the exact same thing. The only difference is instead of show invite UI, we're just going to do show friends UI and pass in zero. So basically ourselves. Now the only thing we have to do now is bind these up to the new function names. Okay, let's go to our EOS widget, which it should fail to compile, which it does. Go down here, and for this one, that's just called show UI. Let's call it show invite UI. And let's rename this one again to show invite UI. Let's call it show invite UI. such and then we're going to have the exact same thing but for show friends ui and again bind this up like so simple as that i'm going to go ahead and start moving these a little bit closer together because ultimately, I mean, they're kind of the same thing. No real need to do a whole lot of organizing, I guess. And that's just to make it easier for me to kind of pan through later on. Okay, so we're now calling show friends UI and show invite UI. We're going to go ahead and save. And let's just confirm. So we should be good to go. Okay. Once we're here, let's go ahead and test. We're going to show the invite UI, which should not fire, which it does not. We're going to show the friends UI, which brings up our friends list, like so. Now let's create a session. Just made it. Let's call show invite UI now. And there we go. So now we have our friends UI set up. We're going to destroy the session and have it close down our project. Okay, so that pretty much sums up a lot of it. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So you can show a user profile. So it basically takes in the net UID of the user or net ID of the user. And so of the user requesting to see the profile and the user who owns the profile. Okay, so you can basically, seems like you can do quite a lot of stuff. But anyways, that pretty much wraps up the basics of the external UI pointer or the external UI interface. Let me rephrase that. And yeah, not sure what to do from here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize these. I'm sure this is something that we will end up coming back to, but I have other things that I want to get uh, done through the list. So that is going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.